All right, welcome to, uh, I'm going to come back to another one, to a new episode of the Gazette Book of Pindavod, the Akebook Club. Yay! And today, guys, we're extremely, extremely, extremely special episode, because today, guys, we're episode 287. <laughs> guys, 287 episode. It's cra- 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 crazy. Crazy amount of episodes. Hey guys, if you're on the channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Zeki, and I'm the host of this podcast. I'm going to be talking about the English speaking of the English event, and I'm going to be talking about the comments that we get before the comments. And this, I'm doing this podcast because I truly believe that English, truly, truly believe that English is the number one thing that each one of us must acquire in order to be successful, successful in life. And the second thing that it's going to help, that it's going to help us a lot is not going to get before the camera. And if you take those, 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 two, those, those two skills and you combine them together, you can get content to the internet. And you can and then you can influence billions of billions of billions of billions of billions of people around the world. So I recommend to uh, work to work with them and to improve them. And I know that I'm aware of the fact that sometimes it might be challenging to speak in English and uh, to be in the camera. And my goal in this channel is to inspire the people. Yeah, maybe the legend never man, it's maybe you. The red the red being enjoy like the you. The red in the judgment of the podcast maybe you, you. I want to inspire you. To do the same and also work on those skills like me and to get yourself to speak in English and to share content on the internet. Yeah, I'm aware of, I'm aware of the fact that it's, is, that it's challenging, it's challenging, but I hope it's by sharing with you guys my journey, my struggles, my success, my failures, or overcome them, and my failures in life. Episode 284, as you know, my exam. By sharing with you guys my own experience, I've been inspired. And I'm inspired by your people to do the same. So, guys, I hope this is, I hope this is inspiring to you. And what we are exactly doing on this podcast, we are, going, we are starting to be reading, uh, together, reading books in English that I love, that uh, you recommended me, recommended to me. And together, we learn from them. We spoke on an English, uh, English on vocabulary, growth, growing, grow vocabulary, learn new mindsets, and become better, improve your life. So, thank you very much, guys. And today, I got this epic signal behind it. This man is called this uh, dragon. Come to me. He's a big fan, a friend of him. And let's go together to the Aiki Book Club. And guys, if you want to check them out, if you want to know if they arrived to the book club, you know where you can find them free. If you want to pay, you can find them on Good Fun. And it's the Apple, Apple, uh, the current Apple Bananas or the Ninja World to Free. And I think we had uh, on already. On 1st of December 2014, guys. Down already 9,000 times, uh, 50 steps, 50, 9,000, uh, 2015, uh, uh, 215 uh, times. And of course, they like it. It's, uh, it's always a good uh, thing to say thank you to the people that give you something to help you. Hey guys, this is a grab account, and you see it's 10, almost 10,000 times. This is a lot. You so see, you just put some, uh, you see, you just put some uh, content on the internet, and you never know who is going to impact and who is going to use it, and how much time after you put it, you post it. And if you want, and if you want to download the, the picture, just you need to choose the resolution from here. Press download. Right click on the picture, go to Shmirat and Shemini, we will say picture less in English, and tell them how you want it in all language. We will earn all that we need to, to get from where you are on board. And guys, and uh, and the type say press save on, on the save picture s choose the one to save it on the computer press save and just like that you will get this grab account on the computer so thank you very much for that is what is like more information in the grab account and thank you very much for and want to pray for sharing this grab account but let's see yeah, it's a nice one thank you very much and today guys we'll continue our journey with your next five moves of taking david mess of the house of business to us so this one's out of business strategy. I read the book. I really, really, really learned a lot from it and it's gonna motivate me to become my own CEO, even though I'm a one-man company, one uh, one man empire, motivation empire. I learned a lot from it and it's I implement uh, lessons that I learned from the podcast from my life, from the uh, chemical habits and seven habits of other people in this uh, book. And today actually I had just today, I learned that just today. We had uh, some of it, it was about, if you remember from the standard why, adapters, about why people adapt, take the theory of adapt, 
חבר'ה, אני אירני דפטר, זה העליתי את זה, העליתי את זה, מג'ורטי דפטר, העליתי את זה דפטר, מדפטר, אין אינובטור, גדיס, אה, זה טסט, אין זה אין סוף, אני רממבר, אני רממבר, זה טיים זה זה רד אבאוט איט, 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 אינקאז If any one of you, and if, and if you have any suggestions for making for myself for the podcast, or if any one of you, if you want to go to the podcast, if you get to the podcast, show us if you support this one, or don't make a difference with Kazmarini, or just have a great time with you. I'm Kazmarini, and 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 I'm Kazmarini, Or if you ever, if, or if you have your own uh, life uh, lessons that you want to show with us, tips, wisdom, something that you read, learn, so on, feel free to do it in the comment below so all of us can improve thanks to your wisdom and enrich our lives. So thank you very much. And one last thing, guys, before we move to the book, if you enjoy the video, if you, if you find it uh, attractive and uh, nice and informative, and if you enjoy the video, the podcast, and the journey, Please consider to subscribe to the channel, push an application based on your application, so, and push an application based on your application, and each of these extremely exciting episodes, that extremely exciting episodes are coming to YouTube, you know it's going to be five extremely exciting, exciting episodes per week. So let's go. Like the video, share it with your friend, and click on to the channel, push an application based. And you know, it's a kind of just special episode, I'll come to this one. Guys, it's really one to three, four kids for your side, and it's really a very huge impact to me. So if you enjoy the, the episode of the video, and the podcast, please consider to do it. Thank you very much. And guys, now before the introduction, let's just dive right into the book. Let's just dive right into the book. Move into the book. Let's move to the book. You know. So, your next five moves <laughs> by Patrick Bed, by Patrick Bed David, from page 166 to 170. Read by the meat, the legend of Anne Bonnie, the minister of Mr. John, please. Give Mr. John, please. Give Mr. John, please. Yo, oh boy, hey, yeah, 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 that's what's up, that's what's up, that's me, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, title. The Five Deadly Sins of Entrepreneurs. The list of vices uh, is endless, but entrepreneurs are especially vulnerable to certain uh, temptations. temptations. There are sins that you should do everything in your power to avoid. Sins that will destroy whatever uh, momentum you have uh, generated uh, for your business. Here are the deadly five. One, meaning to cheap or uh, splurging uh, and wisely. Two, letting the world people have an influence over you. Three, having a royalty mentality. Four, refusing to adapt. And five, obsessively comparing yourself to others. Let's begin to, into, into that. One, meaning to cheap or a sprung gin and widely. If you are a sport fan, You have probably witnessed a football coach who says, who plays a conservatively, 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 when his team as a lead, as a lead. Before the aggressive play, uh, calling, calling the Phillips a bit as a lead, the other team has an opportunity to mount a comeback. The coach thinks he is uh, being a vice and uh, protecting the lead. In reality, His extreme passion uh, makes everyone uh, afraid of making a mistake and allows, and allows other teams 
ואז עושים to gain ground. זה ה-prevent defense, ends up custom them victory. ו-entrepreneur זה ארצ'יפ. זה קונביל themselves, זה their being a project. זה זה באמת a good deal of money, in example, be the big lead, and need to sit on it. Remember the old saying, you have got to spend money to make money. Fair to spend money to update your software or launch, or launch, or launch a necessary new product, and you will pay. Other entrepreneurs, they kill uh, the momentum by spending, a, by spending a dough, they possess a bottomless well of cash. They are convinced that they, unlike everyone else, will never have a down period. They spend too much too fast. Often on the wrong things, and uh, when they need the money for something uh, crucial, it's not there. Oh, there goes, poof, there goes their momentum. So, letting the wrong uh, people have influence over them, over you. So, letting the wrong people have influence over you. Your consultant tells you to double the size of your, of your business. Your spouse they insist, insist that you have to cut your uh, staff by 50%. By 50%. Your body suggested that you merge uh, your company in fees. None of this advice is necessarily bad, but you need to analyze the source. Decide who is the wrong person to follow and who is the right one. The wrong person has his own, uh, own agenda. The wrong person is uh, more interested in uh, gaining your favor by being, by being a yes man uh, than offering uh, objective advice. The wrong person is uh, jealous of your success and uh, secretly, uh, sec secretly, secretly, secretly and secretly want to see you pain. The one person may also be a loved one who doesn't have uh, access to all uh, the internet and the data that you have, uh, that you have access, to, access to. Process those issues. Don't let people uh, sway you without first analyzing uh, who they are. The character and the motivator, motivation and their motivation. Remember to, remember to, just because they have uh, been with you for a long time, as a colleague, a friend, or even a spouse, it doesn't mean that their suggestions are sound. Suggestions are sound. And then, three, having a royalty mentality. You feel entitled, invisible, and infallible. Like a king or queen, you wouldn't expect your subjects to, to obey rather than a challenge you, a gen, rather than challenge you every proclamation. No doubt, you have been as successful and they feel as though you are only your own pair. But stop and think uh, for a moment about what your entitled uh, attitude is doing. No one uh, questions uh, your decisions. No one, uh, no one uh, ventures an option, uh, an, op an, an opinion different from your own. No one is willing to take a risk for fear of even years or where uh, provided aid, aid, chopped off. Leaders who act like a royalty lost their phones. If the pistons doesn't, don't revolt, a new leader uh, who doesn't have this uh, mentality will take, the, will take the, ter the territory. Four, refusing to adapt. Agility, agility is prized in organizations, in, in, organiza in, in organizations today for a reason. In chapter 12, we will uh, discuss how quickly companies uh, fall out for the Fortune 500 and the S&P 500. If you can't adapt, you are going to fail. You are going to fail, to fail quickly. Default is a useful uh, buzzword. It means uh, the ability to turn quickly as Situation is a shift. Too many entrepreneurs are convinced that they have to that they have to stay the course. That they have to double down on a strategy that isn't uh, working. Just because the strategy a uh, worked, just because just because the strategy a uh, worked and helped your business uh, prosper uh, last year, that doesn't uh, mean it's a uh, viable this year. 
five. Obsessively compare yourself to others. You can lose sight of the bigger picture if you are constantly envious of a competitor. I'm a highly competitive guy. And if someone in my industry is doing it better than I am, my reflex is to find a way to beat him. There is nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is uh, when you ob obsess about someone else, a competitor, your brother-in-law, your mentor, and don't focus on your strategy and the objectives. All you want to do is, is uh, beat the object of your envy. And, uh, and if, if that is all you care about, you are caring about the wrong thing and your business will lose its way. Grandmasters they possess the incredible ability to focus. They know that if they allow any distraction to slip into their conscience, they will quickly lose their age. Title, the downside, the downside of uh, speed. First money temptations. Are you hell-bent on uh, growing your company? Most entrepreneurs are. Most entrepreneurs are. They are ambitious and they map out a strategy that will help them add new products and uh, products and service and services. Increase their uh, revenues, uh, expand their uh, territory, and grow in other and grow in other ways. You are going to be tempted tempted uh, to take a shortcut. Trust me. You are going to be offered the uh, ways to make quick money or shortcuts to growth. You might be tempted to partner, partner with someone who has a reputation for being uh, unethical, but also has a critical uh, context, context. You might try to offer a gift to a government official, official or someone else with a cloud to overlook a violation or help your proposal to go the front of the line. You might get into a lucrative uh, business where uh, you might get into a lucrative business where you see the benefit of violating your uh, moral code. I'm not saying that you are going to do anything illegal, but you might violate your uh, values and the principles uh, for the sake of growth. There are, uh, there are uh, communications uh, for doing so. When my agency started to grow, I received the calls from guys who are doing a lot of insurance business with us, with us who are asking for siding. You have no idea how tempted I was to say yes. I wasn't greedy for money. I was greedy for momentum. If a guy offers me a side deal that pays $200,000, it's easy to rationalize accepting that money so I can use it to hire more leaders or spend more on, a, on our next innovative campaign. Those types of deal, uh, of deals uh, will tempt you, will tempt you. But you have to see five of the head uh, to understand that the poison they contain is enough to destroy your business. If I had ever made that kind of, of side deal, and my lawyer and my lawyer guy and my lawyer guys had found about it, it, it would have been a game over. Never cross your lawyer guys. If they found out that you have uh, made a questionable uh, deal, two things will happen. First, they will say, hey, I want a side deal too. I want a side deal too. Obviously, you can't give everyone uh, one of the deals, one of those deals. And second, then you eventually, eventually, eventually have a falling out with one of the side deal guys. He will tell everyone about it. He might tell you, just give me that uh, contract. Uh, that contract. I won't tell anyone. I, told, I won't tell anyone. But he will when he's uh, mad at you. And then everyone will uh, know the games you have been playing. Maintaining your integrity is always a winning strategy. What happens uh, when you compromise uh, your integrity is that you chase little pockets of growth at the expense of a uh, much bigger growth uh, targets. You opt, your, you opt for uh, little scores instead of big, sustainable ones. It's a perfect formula for building a mediocre, mediocre business and being paralyzed by paranoia. You are better than that. Title, mass double velocity equal momentum.
‫ואילו מיזלס גזרד גזרד, ‫זה הפרונס אוף בולדון רולינג דאונינג. ‫זה יכול להיות דנג'רוס. ‫זה כאילו זה מנג'ינג את ספיד. ‫בילדון זה מומנטום. ‫אין דון קומפיטטור, ‫זה יכול להיות בטרבל. ‫גד האד אוף יורסלף, ‫אין דון קרטיטור, זה יכול להיות. ‫גד האד אוף יורסלף, ‫אין דון קרטיטור, זה יכול להיות. ‫כאוס זה יכול להיות בטרבל. ‫אז דנג'רוס ווייב זה ארם טו סופינג. ‫אין דון קרטיטור, זה יכול להיות. ‫אין דון קרטיטור, זה יכול להיות. ‫אין דון קרטיטור, זה יכול להיות. ‫אין You are in trouble. You can process uh, information. You can process information effectively, even when your world is a uh, tupsy truly. More than that, you can draw energy from the chaos and use it to redouble, redouble your efforts to manage your business. In fact, I deliberately, deliberately put, the move, uh, put the move about systems right after this one. If you are feeling uh, nervous about speed, having the system uh, to track it and uh, manage it is a perfect antidote. Guys, guess what? This is the end of the episode. Uh, this is the end of the episode, guys. <laughs> Thank you much for joining me. And I really appreciate the fact, I mean, really appreciate the fact that you choose to invest in something and I hope that you know something for the channel. Tomorrow we're going to continue with chapter 11. New chapter of chapter 11, Moneyball, designing, designing uh, systems to track your business. Yeah, it's going to be a really good, uh, good uh, episode. So guys, thank you much for doing it. I appreciate the fact you choose to, 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 that you choose to invest with me. And I, and, I, and I can't wait to see you all tomorrow, your family, your friends, and everyone, on the next episode of the of extreme, extreme technical episode of the guys focusing on the board, they can book up. And this is a great time. Take care of yourself and bye-bye. Today, Tuesday, 18 on uh, January 2022, and time now is 1955. This is the fourth episode that I uh, record today in a uh, row. So, yeah, we are back to schedule because in the test I didn't uh, record the pre episode in the pre 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 previous days, and now we managed to back, uh, back, to back, uh, back, on track, back, back on track. And I have, I think, 11 or 12 uh, pre record episodes. which is great because it's a system, you know, it's take you, it give you the opportunity when I don't have the time or I need the time to do something else, I have the opportunity to not record the episode and it's still be a schedule. So when I have the time, put the, put the effort in and record more pieces as you can. We have this uh, merger, uh, set amount to do it. And I'm sure I'm ‫האדם בועט על המבחן. ‫אז לא בסדר, מה לעשות? ‫אבל אני מזכיר, יאללה, ‫אני רוצה לבחון בתולדות ה... ‫במבוא לתקשורת המונים, ‫נכשלתי כישלון חרוץ. ‫טוב, מה זה חרוץ? ‫איזה בעצמך? ‫יאללה, ביי. ‫תחילו חלובנים.